something special because that four overtime game versus MIBR, it was filled with action. So right off the bat again, Fnatic starting off on that T side. And we saw this on Mirage Semler. A lot of utility coming out from two members. Two flashes and a smoke and they're already out into B. Golden. What is this? They're mad lads. They have yet to find... There we go. They get the kill and connector and they are finally going to be moving on in here. Montu is going to chase Flusha out through Monster. And Flusha somehow surviving this as well. Now he goes down. But this is allowed for the rotation up to the... Uh to the A site here from Fnatic. JW's got the bomb on him as well, and he is going to just stick that plant. There isn't anybody there yet to stop him. So this is really going to set it up now for the post plant. Time's a ticking, and OG have to get in position. You still have Isa waiting on the flank, hopefully looking to catch somebody out here, but uh, it's Fnatic who are choosing to try and press OG back. They're choosing to get a aggressive, and JW's going to get caught. So it's all on Crims now, and well, it is all on Crims. This is it. Him against the world. 1v3. Bomb is not even planted for him, and so they can just start defusing. Alexi B's going to get on that. He's got the kit, and there is not a hope for Crims. Doesn't even manage to get the kill. Action-packed pistol right out the gates. Oh my goodness, it looked like for a moment there that Crims had bought that special god armor that doesn't even exist in the game because he was bobbing and weaving past all those bullets. But OG, oh they finally make it happen. And it looked like for a moment that Fnatic had done enough. Golden drew a lot of rotations towards that B site, but not finding any kills towards that B, that was definitely the crux. Fnatic would have loved to find some sort of an opening. But the force, clapping right back, Fnatic. Three Galils and two Deagles on their backs and a good amount of utility. Mantu, he's going aggressive. He's got a buddy with him in MBK and OG, they don't want to lose this connector. I like how OG don't even cut corners themselves. They're like, we know these guys are going to buy, so let's just get rifles. Right, we're not going to horse around with MP9s or shotties or anything like that. Just try and match toe-to-toe. -to -toe with uh, the firepower here as uh, it is going to be MBK rotating up. He is going to get bopped. Krim's taking point and opening it up. Now Montu not even going to spot Flusha. This is going to get real tricky here, but it's looking like Fnatic not expecting a second man. A Golden shot. happens to be facing Connector as Montu comes up, and that's another headshot. This could be an utter disaster now for OG. Two-man advantage for Fnatic. Another rifle recovered as Flusha joins the rest of the pack. And they are going to try and take the fight here. Lexi B pressuring Brolan at long. Eventually does get that kill, but the rest of Brolan's team are making their way up onto the A site. And now it's going to be Lexi B who's going to be in for a world of hurt here. Just trying to spray through that smoke, hoping to get lucky. And he is not going to be long for this world. JW hunts him down. But JW, just like that, is the last man alive. Somehow, the rest of OG have come through, and it is all JW, but JW oh. takes the kill and gets it. One for one. Things could not be getting closer, Semler. That round came down to the wire. JW finds the spam. Thankfully, the opponent on OG was low, so he's able to secure that. But man, Fnatic, it looked like they were going to get that A bomb site down. OG, they look like they lost it. But what a recovery and what a deagle shot coming out from Golden once again. It just does seem like Golden, you know, he's never going to be at the very top of that scoreboard most of the time. But every now and then he does bring out some insane shot like that out of his back pocket. Another tactical coming out from Fnatic. Need to collect their thoughts a little bit because that round was wild. JW, clutch God. That was way too close. Actually crazy just how close that was because JW, I mean, that looked like he had it done at least the two for, you know, the two versus one kind of duel at the end there from OG. And yet JW just sensed it and manages to get it through the smoke. That was sick. And well, now OG, it is going to be the force buy from them. They spend everything they've got, pistols, handful of nades, and well, hoping to be able to just fight back. They do not want to let Fnatic on this map in particular get a strong start, although I mean, it is funny when it comes to OG. It does really feel like they do put themselves behind, not only in the bracket, but in the maps. It always feels like they have, to, they have to be a down a man, down a few rounds, and then they can start getting into the mix. Speaking of being down a man, Alexi B gets picked off early. MBK is sniffing out some more, but JW is too ready for it. He's got that MAC-10. He wants to farm, make some extra cash for himself. You know JW's not going to back down. OG members getting some water control at the moment. 
Looks like Asa and Mantu are just going to buddy up. And all three defenders of OG are towards this B-bomb site. A is completely wide open. Fnatic are making their way towards that bomb site. So soon they will find a free one. And it does seem like Ma Mantu, Issa, and Valde from OG, they're probably not even going to bother going back to A, even if the bomb gets planted at this point. Probably going to look around for some exit kills. Fnatic are being very thorough, very careful. They do not want a repeat of what happened last round. No, this is what... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just going to be fairly straightforward stuff. It was the gamble from OG. So, three on B, hoping that Fnatic are going to hit. If they hit B, awesome. If they don't hit B, cool. We save our guns for the next round because obviously we spent everything this round. So, OG, luck of the draw would have it that they are uh, going to survive this round. Or they should survive this round. I don't really think that Fnatic should be out hunting them with rifles either. Oh, but JW's got that MAC-10. You know he wants to. That is JW style, though. <laughs> with MAC-10. Yeah, taking a little peek. No, oh, he's got the flash. They're ready for it, though. Oh, what Sit a down. shot from Mantu. That grenade would have done so much damage. Right. JW's not going to be making all that money. All that bread this round. <laughs> that cheddar. Get out of here. He's done. And there isn't enough money to buy him an op. So uh, I'm curious, actually. Does he just go Deagle Kevlar here? It's going to be another round of eco from OG. He has to know it. So maybe just manage manage your economy and set yourself up for the AWP in the following round if you're J-Dub. It's actually pretty outrageous that he continues to just dominate. Nope, never mind. He's just going all in. All right, full buy from JW. So not perhaps interested in getting the AWP right out the gates. So that or maybe a teammate like Brolan will drop it for him. So, I mean, that's always an option, of course. But um, as far as JW is concerned, he oh, is continuing. Yeah, he him. just spotted Valve, didn't he? Oh, this is awkward. There you go. Valdi gets the one, and they managed to catch the other. So, two-man advantage now for Fnatic. Long push coming up from OG as well, but Fnatic are well aware of all the shenanigans. They are taking their time. They are holding angles. And it really shouldn't be too possible here for OG to pick up anything. I'm surprised at how much utility Issa bought, brought into this round and hasn't used any of it yet, but... He might make things interesting here. Crims, too good for it. Sliver of an angle, and Crims finds another as well. It's all down to Alexi B and his measly USP. And JW do it to him. Oh, he just finds the kill. You know, Semler, we have not seen a knife, the blade, coming out from J-Dubs quite yet in this tournament so far. And I'll be really surprised if he makes it all the way to the grand finals without finding himself one. Uh, you know, that's to be fair, that's right. <laughs> the man has spent enough time in strip malls and malls in general to have lived by the blade. He has trained for years. He is familiar. What a mad lad. I mean, it is true. He is the man to make that kind of play happen. And I'm actually kind of surprised that we still don't have an op in play for him. So just sticking to the rifles. But uh, he continues. I mean, five kills on the board for JW. I think he ended Mirage with like 37 kills, which is ridiculous. Actually, I'll just go ahead and double check that real quick. Good start from OG. What a flash. Just completely blinding Brolan. He didn't even have a chance into that round. And a lot of pressure coming out towards his B. Huge spam kill coming out from Issa. But he does get burned alive in Lexi B. Fnatic don't know it, but he's in this smoke just waiting for his moment. And there it is. The bomb is down. Alexi B securing the B bomb site. He's a, he's even got natural born killer to have his back here. And now Fnatic, they're in the smoke. They can't get the bomb down though. Actually, I'm wondering if that is uh, a problem though. Oh, Crim's not gonna be able to step in. Too much pressure getting put on. And Valda, now that he joins the party, he gets to chime in with three kills of his own. Puts him up on four to three. And uh, actually JW finished Mirage with 36 kills. So I was one kill off. Uh, 36 kills for J-Dubs. That's just decent. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That's nothing, you know, nothing to write home to mom about. But uh, that, uh, they're going to need more from uh, JW if uh, they are going to be pulling ahead here in this uh, 
in this first half because now OG are starting to warm up a little bit. They've got their second round on the board after the pistol. Three to two. Fnatic still in the lead. But now JW has that AWP in play. Oh, oh nicely done. Feels bad. Flusha just catching that grenade. And I also just did notice that Molotov up top at party. Berlin did not need to use his smoke for it. Don't know if that's a missed Molotov or a calculated one, but OG, they're on the move. Proactive CT early aggression. They're going to have all this monster for free. A lot of information, but J-Dubs is coming back around. He gets punished. Valde, such a clean opening kill there, or opening shot, rather. And MBK, he's about to run into a lot of traffic. The Shadow gives it away. Two kills in the spray transfer, and Broland gets taken down as well. A good trade coming up for Montu, and that's a clean round from OG. Even the movements to take over out Monster, get that free information. Maui was talking about it. You know, the last time OG, when they played Overpass, they were a little bit stagnant, a little turtled up, and just maintaining that map control. This time, they're demanding their presence on the map. Well, if they can get that confidence, right? They've got the firepower. They just need to get out there. Isa trying to make it. Valda, I mean, play off of Valda. Let the guy just have free mobility around the map. Let him just go to work. I mean, clearly there's uh, there's something there. Although now it is going to be a very quick mid take there from Fnatic early. Berlin just brave in the molly. JW, unfortunately for him, walks right into Isa. Was expecting a different angle there. But he only had the Deagle. Roland's the one with the AK right now, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of this setup as NBK moves up. He's so far ahead of all of his teammates. No trade is going to come through here for Fnatic if Broland goes a little too early. You can see he's waiting for his teammate. Some communication going on from the Fnatic side, but NBK, I wouldn't be surprised if his teammate flashes for him. He does draw that contact, and he's lucky to be alive. He did get dinked a little bit early on. The smoke should buy him some time as well, and that trade, it does not come through for Fnatic. So they will be down two numbers here. And OG, they are in full control. Oh, the timing is impeccable. NBK, you're not, you got, you're not gonna pull a fast one like that on NBK, dude. He is too good. Long range flush are gonna find a shot on him, but Mantu's there to trade it, and there's Crims getting the tag. Still four players alive for OG. Not a whole lot that Fnatic can hope to do in this situation. 30 seconds left. At least Crims has the bomb, but yeah, he's just going to run in here and see what he can do. Yeah, buddy, throwing <laughs> away the AK. Say, so if I can't have it, you can't have it. Oh, unfortunately, Lexi's still able to find one. But yeah, that is the, I like that detail. When, the, when it's a lost cause, just start chucking guns over fences, you know? Make sure that they have to spend the money. Hmm, but now... That's OG taking three rounds in a row and taking the lead in this first half. I mean, what do you think like what do you think OG need to finish with on the CT side? I know it's totally arbitrary, but like number of rounds for them to actually be comfortable going into the second half. I'd say at least at least eight. At least eight. At least eight. Alright, so we need them to get that winning half. Eight to six, eight to seven, nine to six. This is what OG are definitely hoping for. Well, Montu, oh, he gets spotted, but he hits the shot. Flusha walks right in, and Montu does not flinch. Oh, Flusha gave Montu an easy kill there, an easy pickoff. Gave him a quick jiggle first, let him know he's on his way, and re-peeks right into that shot. But Broland, he's caught the gun barrel and takes out MBK. That's a good equalizer, at least, because now it leaves OG scrambling. You can see on the minimap, a lot of rotations coming through. In fact, giving up B completely. Montu's going to find the opening onto Brolan. That's huge. And oh, what a trade. What a shot coming out from Golden. That's nutty. Definitely not expecting that. HE over the top, not going to do damage. And uh, now Alexi B is going to get caught in the open. Man advantage now for Fnatic pressing onto the A site. JW going to get gunned down, however. And now Isa's here. He's finally getting to see some action. And he's got his teammate helping him out. Velda has rotated over from the B site. And there is still a chance here for Krims, but he's not going to win the duel. Swedes and Danes have been battling for centuries, and this time around, it's Velda coming out on top. Ah, that's five rounds now for OG. This is starting to get pretty comfortable for them because, I mean, these are rounds where Fnatic aren't even getting bomb plants, so they're not they're not keeping they're not going to get to keep buying every round and just keep that pressure up. There will be rounds where OG can just comfortably face off against pistols. Yeah. They're definitely keeping Fnatic's money tight as well. And even JW bringing a Deagle into this round, that's going to make that AWP purchase next round. And 
it's just half armor, but MBK, this should be a shooting gallery for the OG guys. Ooh, this is a disaster for OG right now. If Alexi B isn't able to recover with some trades towards this A site, Fnatic are going to have everything they want into this round. That's actually pretty crazy that they managed to pull that off now, Fnatic. And you got JW gifted that AWP. He gets to start moving around over here towards the B site and do OG start spreading out again? It's looking like it. So they've put two towards bank and now OG going to try and cover B site. This is textbook stuff from Fnatic. Slow down the pace, force the CT side to spread out again. Give yourself that numerical advantage when you do go crashing onto a bomb site. Every advantage matters at this point. But it is, you know, that's the thing. You set them out, you make it so that they have to rotate a man back down to B, and then you can walk your way back up onto A. Only problem is, is that this is where Valda stayed. So, uh, Valda, he's backed up by Alexi B. Fresh smoke goes down there to block things off at the 30-second mark, so that'll slow things down here for Fnatic a little bit. They have no nades to help them, so this is going to have to be done the hard way. And so now, well... Oh, this grenade... 15 seconds, Potter. 15 seconds. They don't have any time. There's another nade over the top. Fell the catch roll on. And with 10 seconds left, they are just getting annihilated, Fnatic. And you know what? Fair enough, JW. You got an AWP now. Just back off and save it. Yeah, that's actually totally worth it for Fnatic. As I mentioned, JW probably would have struggled to have full armor and some util coming into this round. But now he's going to be able to have a full purchase. Not too bad, all things considered, of what Fnatic went into that round with. So they'll take those. They'll take those all day. And this time, I'm, I'm looking straight at Flusha into this round. Their default, it hasn't had much success. Flusha, he's been getting bullied towards that water, either Molotov or HU grenaded, just chunked down, chipped away at his HP early on. And usually, that's where Flusha makes most of his noise, is towards those B, the L area, the bend, even out that monster. So this time, he's brought a buddy with him. And he's full. He's healthy. Oh, Issa. No trade. That... That is not going to cut it for Fnatic. They need to be able to have some sort of response. And there it is. Alexi B going down. Fnatic are just getting picked off one by one all across the place right now. Yeah, this is uh, getting nasty as JW catches MBK and Link, so... Three on three sort of scenario. Bomb rotating back around towards B. Two players here, however, for OG. And, I mean, Velda's thinking it might be time for him to rotate off, and he is going to do just that. Issa, however, has made his way out in front of Monster. If he stops that bomb from getting in here, that's going to get real frustrating for Broland and the rest of Fnatic as we approach the 45-second mark. Issa's got a smoke. He can throw that down on Monster. And try and funnel these guys through on short. So He's 30 so seconds. Dude, this is getting crazy. Hmm. That kind of secures the deal here. I'd say so. Yeah. Well, now Montu's rotated in. Definitely, definitely tough. 15 seconds. JW's probably just going to run back and... No. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Thought he was going to try and save that op again. Hmm. Yeah, Fnatic, they're, uh, they're getting stopped in their tracks at the moment. And they're not finding a lot of uh, any room to, to work any picks or angles. I don't know that I've even heard Flusha shooting his gun a lot of the time in these rounds. And that's definitely never a good thing. That water area OG are doing a fantastic job at just finding those isolated 1v1s. As I mentioned, Fnatic weren't able to find any trades in that last round. And you even hardly heard any guns going off so maybe not in the right positions maybe a little overzealous either way coming into this round they're working with scraps again here similar pistol rounds but we've seen how close Fnatic can make these rounds in fact this round is going to be so important because if you take a look at OG's money as well it's not the best they're not working with a lot of money so if they can just keep chipping away at that economy eventually towards the latter end of this half Fnatic should be in prime position to put a lot more rounds on the board. 
Without a doubt. Uh, Looks like Fnatic were thinking about changing it up, and yeah, they are going to try and accelerate the pace here. They can move their way up to short now, and they have a full set of nades. Looking like it's going to be a bit of the run and gun here from Fnatic. Tech Nine's leading the way. They're going to have some punch to him, and now it's going to be about whether or not OG can hold. He's is going to find one, and he gets a spray transfer onto the second. Did his job already. Now Velda, of course, is going to find his one kill and a second one. And dude, this B defense between Isa and Velda is just rock solid. You got the two top fraggers just holding down a site. Fnatic are just doomed if they come here. Yeah, they're like they're like freaking turds out there because even Fnatic had some decent flashes, good flashes, in fact. Both players getting blind, and it was staggered as well. But Issa, just a stud, finding two kills, blind on the second. Fnatic were not able to get a bomb plant, but they're still they're still in okay position here. AWP once again coming out on JW's back. I'd like to see something different coming into this round. Flusha has not found success in this B default. Broland has not found success towards that long A lurking alone default. Once again, Brolan is going towards this long game alone, and JW is going to find the opening. There it is. Good trade. Crims is even there to back him up. And Valde, so many targets in front of him, does go down. And once again, look at this movement coming out of OG. They're going to retake this connector area, and Alexi B, he's going to keep pushing for more. This is great coming out of OG. Good proactive movements. Yeah, you'd say this is what they need to do, isn't it? Start just trying to make some plays here, trying to catch uh, somebody out on Fnatic. Alexi B now could actually just completely eviscerate this push. He can be so quick right up the ladder. He's going to have a man with exactly NBK here in mid. This is all down to timing. Oh, and NBK gets checked. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Alexi, what's your, what are you doing, dude? He still hasn't made his way up the ladder. He could still be here in Connector, but Fnatic seem to have an idea about this. This is just the waiting game now. Both of these teams, neither one wants to be the one to make the mistake. Flusha is going to be watching from the door, and now Alexi is thinking this is going to be B oh, when it's absolutely himself. not going to be B. Fnatic just adding that good touch of timing. Being patient, making OG sweat it out, and there it is, an unforced error. OG rotate to the wrong bomb site, but with only three remaining, it was a gamble that they wanted to take. It doesn't pay off, but again, all the ideas were there, right? The motions were there. OG, they were taking back map control that they absolutely needed, and with one different result, one different move from Fnatic, definitely could have resulted in something different, but. They lose the A site, and Fnatic could opening picks to start out the round. Oh, absolutely monster. These guys, I mean, they're st they still have the firepower. That's the thing. I mean, JW's on double digits right now. He's got 10 kills. It's not like he's totally falling asleep here. He hasn't really slowed down, has he? No, he's, uh, what, that's like 46 kills so far in two maps. So, uh... That's some quick math similar. <laughs> 36 plus 10. Oh, okay. That, all right. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, dude. This is really rough, though. I mean, Fnatic, this is where they absolutely have to get the remaining three rounds in this half. They have to wake up in a big way. We need to see Flush to start coming into his own. He's got two kills, and I think the team are feeling it. You can't really have that low a scoreline. Although you do have Alexi B mirrored on the other side, but then MBK. I don't know. None of this makes sense for more. Look at that. If we're just looking at kills, this is why kills, you know, kills are good, but you got to be careful. This is the bigger picture. And right now, the bigger picture is uh, that OG have got Fnatic in a bit of a stranglehold. Matu going aggressive. Peek at the top mid. Not going to find anybody just yet. And they're much more interested in the B side of the map. Fnatic early on here and then taking oh. over Connector. Broland's definitely spotted the head of Montu there from OG, but OG's also heard that as well, so they're going to actually just back up. Alexi B is still very forward, but Broland, he's got backup now. Two of his teammates have caught back up with him. Oh, but Alexi B's also got backup now too, and Montu, he's going to keep pushing forward with this AWP. Oh, are we going to get the shots here? MBK. Unreal. This is so tense. There Everyone is, is so and close to each other. It. 
Yeah, patience really being shown here by both of these teams. Again, Fnatic. They're just willing to let that clock run down. NBK wins the second duel. That is huge. Takes down Flusha. And now there's a two-man advantage for OG. Alexi B is going to get overwhelmed along, but fair enough. He's already got his teammates on the bomb side itself. Melda and Isa working together. Brolan and JW, though, finding those kills. Mantu's going to chime in, and this is all over the place. This is just turning into OG whittling down Fnatic. Now one kill at a time. Brolan going to get a smoke down trying to block it off. Oh, but the nade! NBK denies the bomb plant. Nine rounds on the board now for OG. It doesn't get more brutal than this, does it, Potter? It doesn't. It doesn't. OG are doing such a good job just moving around the entire map right now. Every time Fnatic think they have a bomb site, it's OG coming through with a, with a flank of some kind. Even Lexi B there bringing Montu over to back him up, then falling back into the bomb site to just secure that entire area as Mantu has his back. This is a fantastic defense coming out from OG so far. And Fnatic, they haven't really found an answer. Besides those close, scrappy rounds with the pistols, oh, and Valde even just one-ups Flusha. Makes Dude. him look foolish. Flusha didn't had no idea. Crims is gonna now try to try his luck outside monster. And they do find the kill onto Issa, but JW. Oh, Valde! He almost got punished there. He dropped right as JW was in there. But that nade <laughs> denies the bomb plant again. These nades have been absolutely brutal. Valde finally, the guy is taken out. Still a two on two, and it's still totally winnable here for Fnatic. But as the bomb gets planted, that is the correct move. Mantu moves in. Turns that, to, takes advantage of that 2v1. And now it's Brolan. And Brolan, he's thinking that he needs to go ahead and take the fight to him. And he's got a minute left as well to play with. These are two 1v1s for him. Brolan's definitely good for this shot. Oh, he's going to challenge the eight, the sniper. I like this from Brolan. He knows he's got the time to work with. Oh, so close. What a mad lad. I admire it, though. But that's 10 rounds on the board now for the CT side of OG. They definitely, uh, they went above and beyond, Potter. They went above and beyond what you said they needed to be comfortable. Absolutely. And, and I'm surprised at how out of sorts Fnatic members are looking right now in the server. It does seem like OG are slipping past and making moves that Fnatic are just not expecting. These are not duels that Fnatic are ready for, which is weird to say at the moment, but... OG doing a great job remaining mobile. Do you think uh, Fnatic are suffering the same fate as MIBR? You know, the other day, MIBR just got bodied on the second map. They just couldn't get their heads in it after the close loss. I, I, that would be weird, right? Because these guys are all on land now. They've, they've all gone there in playoff mode. They've got the experience. I wouldn't, I wouldn't picture Fnatic a, a type of team to, to falter like that mentally. But... All right. Right now, they are looking all out of sorts. JW pushing forward, and again, not looking in the right place, not being able to react to a duel that he's comfortable with, and he goes down. OG, a man up, five versus four advantage, and NBK, he's just, he's lurking around this smoke. Golden know, he knows he's there, but there's not just not a lot he can do. Oh, Mantu, he does go down, though. This makes MBK's position all the more difficult. He goes down as well, and just like that, Fnatic, th they have to control. Oh, yeah, now they get to set the pace. 40 seconds on the clock, and the push is going to start coming through here. Alexi B going to be forced back. Beautiful Molotov right over the top. Roll on running through his own Molotov. Doesn't even care. That's sick. This, however, is interesting as Velda catches out. Flusha could get the follow-up as well. They do not want to fight this guy. As soon as they figure it out it's him, it's time to back off, get that bomb planted, and get that clock ticking. As Issa and Velda, the two heavy hitters for OG, are the last two alive now moving on to this bomb site. Unreal. What is going on? Velda with the double, and now it's all on Crims. 1v2. What happened? Crims, can he pull this off for the Swedes? They're desperate, but it's not happening. Issa will find the final kill, but Velda catching both of those players looking the wrong way. Unbelievable. How many rounds have we seen where, where OG members are get, getting freebies like that? It's free 99 out here, Semler. 20 kills for Velda at the end of the first half in regulation. 11 to 4 at the end of the first half in favor of OG on the CT side as we change sides. We'll be figuring out how this all finishes right after the break.
he said to himself, I'm going all in. I'm just putting school aside, every plans that I have. And that's the person he is. When he wants something, goes for it and hope for the best. Just giving it all. For me, uh, an in-game leader is just as important as a star player and they both need each other really. The most important thing of, of a leader in Counter-Strike is just someone to look at and just be like, yeah, we're gonna do this and it's gonna work. Maybe it's the, completely the wrong tactic, but if you believe enough in it and you do it well, then it can always work. And that for me is the most important thing of having a leader. If you go and look at the case of Ben Tech coming from Indonesia, there's basically no reason actually as to why a player would make it from there. The fact that he basically even got to become someone that Westerners would know and want to recruit, I think it's one of the most unlikely stories probably in Counter-Strike history. Adam's strengths has always been that no matter what, he doesn't really give in. He is never the one to kind of admit that someone's better than him. The mindset for him is that he's better than everyone else and he wants to go and prove it. Welcome back from the break, everybody. We're getting into the second half here of Overpass. Our second map in this loser bracket final. OG are currently in the lead 11 to four over Fnatic and OG won the first map of this series in 30 rounds as well. So and this is all on Fnatic now. They've got the weight of, their, of the world on their shoulders, Potter. The weight indeed. Flusha coming out with an HE grenade, trying to do a little bit more damage. He was kind of harmless in that first half and Golden already taken down to 25 HP. That H your grenade coming through hugely for Valde. And, you know, I didn't even notice Semler. Valde's 20 and 6 already in the first half. He's a savage. Jeez. He is, he is actually insane. It's unbelievable the level of play this guy's bringing to the table right now. And, well, the desk talked about that going into the series, how he was going to be a linchpin for OG. And sure enough, he's showing up. He was there on Mirage, and here he is on Overpass just doing work. Unfortunately, JW's kind of petered out. Such a tough break for JW, considering he dropped 36 kills on Mirage. For him to, you know, for them to fade away here, Fnatic. Not oh. like this. You know, that's all you say. Not like this. Yeah, Fnatic had so much faith in Broland holding down the fort at A. He was the lone defender there. Four defenders from Fnatic stacking towards that B, and that's the A bomb site gone. JW getting taken out on the flank. Although that's a juicy grenade that should help with this retake, Fnatic don't have a smoke either. Three versus five with a flank even in, in motion. Oh, it's all about the headshots. And well, sure enough, Crimson's going to find one. Mantu's just going to go charging up. And now Flusha knows that he's caught in a sandwich. He is going to get his reload done, though. So he is going to still be able to take a fight. But it's a 1v3. And he needs to find a kit to have a chance. And the kit is in the open in front of the bank. And it's just not even going to be possible. Issa guns him down. 12 to 4. OG picking up the pistol in the second half. Both pistols for OG. And, well, that's that's going to just be the absolute worst case scenario now for Fnatic. OG have got a golden opportunity now to get real close to match point. Yeah, and I think Fnatic know that as well. They definitely don't want to give OG even any more cushion. The force buy coming through using every penny that they have at their disposal. And JW is going to try to find some Huandigs here over that smoke, but none of the OG members are going to give him that duel. Oh, but he's going to press for more. Of course he is. MBK. Oh, Brolon caught sleeping. JW does manage to get a kill on Valda, so he's taking the raid boss out of the picture. At least they've got that going for him. Still a man advantage for OG, however. And well, now they get to go, go ahead and take over control of mid, flash over the top, but that's going to be fine. OG, if they just keep executing this death ball, they should be able to just work their way up onto a bomb site now. 
there's only Flusha alive here on A for Fnatic. The remaining two Fnatic players are down on B. And well, yeah, Flush is going to work his way down there as well. So this is going to turn into the gamble that we're seeing more and more teams take in these scenarios where you have money invested in Kevlar and pistols is just, just stack a site if you're down. Stack a site and gamble. And that's a free site here for OG. And it looks like Flusha might try to sniff out a kill for himself. <laughs> that timing on that HR grenade is going to make him think again. And man, it just seems like every corner that Fnatic are throwing, every opportunity that they try to make for themselves, they just get shut down. You know Flusha wanted to Ferrari peek out that smoke and get a kill on the planter, but <laughs> that HR grenade just stops him dead in his tracks, and now he's just going to try to get an exit for himself. OG are too smart for this. They are not going to give any free guns over to the Fnatic guys. They're grouped up. The buddy system is in play. <laughs> he got spotted. And unfortunately for you, Flusha, you're kind of stuck there, dude. <laughs> Nowhere to go at that point. Flusha goes up armor. with the bomb. Oh, well, this is it, Potter. Three rounds away for OG from a spot in the grand finals. And Fnatic, they have got their backs to the wall. They have to go for a round of eco here if they want to have a hope, a chance of running it all the way back on the CT side. We've seen, well, insane comebacks in the past, specifically from this team. So they've been in these pressure situations before. They know what it takes. They know what they're capable of. It's just a matter of whether or not they can get their heads in the game here following this round. Or better yet, you know, this round. <laughs> that would be pretty good if they can get it done here. Would be ideal. And you can see the Fnatic guys are trying to have a B stack with these H grenades. See if they can have a cheeky explosion. But it doesn't look like OG are going to test it. It's not looking ideal right now. No, the trap is not going to get sprung. OG are also playing this exceedingly patient. Yeah, so thorough. Just not leaving anything to chance at the moment. Checking every corner. And this is great to see coming out of OG, you know? We've seen a lot of teams faltering in these low buy rounds. Mm -hmm. Getting a bit overzealous, but OG right now, they are looking disciplined and they are not leaving anything to chance. Valde, he's going to go test out this B-bomb site. Those HU grenades, Fnatic were finally able to use them, but it, it doesn't do anything. And the Fnatic guys are left scrambling now. Oh, they're going to rotate in, but Alexi B's already got the drop on him. Impeccable stuff here for uh, OG. As the bomb gets planted, Fnatic with the remaining two players. I mean, Golden would love to see if he could uh, get a kill with this MAC-10. Uh, it's not even meant to be. That's not going to happen either. So OG, 14-4, to 4, a 10-round lead. Super solid money on the side of OG as well. They can buy whatever they want if they, you know, if they desire. And over on Fnatic's side, no money for the AWP for JW, unfortunately for him. He would have had to go for the glass cannon. He, he elects to go for a rifle play instead. That is odd. Yeah. I, I, better, I better see some coordinated aggression coming out of Fnatic then and getting JW involved early on. Because having that AWP on this CT would have been everything for Fnatic's defenses. But he opts for the rifle. And he's also... He's pressing for more. You can see on the minimap there that he's pushing the fountain area. He's going to have a lot of intel here. And that should strengthen up this B defense for Fnatic coming through. But OG, they're not stopping. They're already through into the site. Oh, no. Cruz is going to get caught with a nade in his hand. It could not have gone any worse here for Fnatic. Flush with a double through the smoke, though. Putting up a fight. Not going down without a struggle. Uh, JW, he is going to be very quickly in position for a flank. I'm not sure if Valda was close enough to hear the footsteps, though. I think he did. I think he's ready for JW. And so, so unfortunate for JW. It's just not meant to be. Broland now in a 1v3. Everything riding on this round. If they lose this, they are broke going into the next one. They will have nothing to work with. And Broland may be even thinking about that now. That it's time to back off and try and save this AUG so that they have some firepower. 
but you can't save forever. Ah, it is looking like it's going to be the call. I mean, OG are just brutal. Even with three players on the B site, Fnatic just got run over. OG are just so decisive when it comes to just moving onto a bomb site together. They are so quick. Yeah, they are completely outplaying and just schooling Fnatic on overpass right now. And this is such a strange map so far. Usually when we think of the firepower on both of these squads, you're expecting some crazy duels coming across the map, some AWP versus AWP violence, something of this nature. But so far on overpass, it's just been OG outgunning Fnatic without Fnatic even being able to shoot back out positioning, out playing, out maneuvering, and Fnatic are just left kind of scratching their heads. This might be the last full buy round for Fnatic in this entire series. Questions now, questions, let's see it. Fnatic again with the aggression though, JW once again, exact same spot. Push right up here by playground. And for now, oh man, he is just all about the trust. <laughs> Alexi V is going to work his way back over here, though, and it's looking like it is going to be a rotate over towards that B site from Alexi. They catch JW. That's Mantu. That's just a, such a tough spot for JW. Yeah, and Brolan was kind of in the vicinity, but then he ditched him and, and left to go all the way back to the site to hold connector from far away. So JW was definitely in a one-and-done spot. And it's traded out. OG with the man advantage, just poking and prodding towards this B defense, and... That's even making Brolan fall off of that long A angle in case he needs to rotate towards this B. And OG are just kind of playing with Fnatic right now. Yeah. And it's looking like they're just going to go ahead and wreak havoc on that B side again here for OG. So five alive. Still some nades left on Fnatic with 40 seconds left. They could get that smoke down. Golden, however, is jiggle peeking, and so he's about to get a bolt to the face. Valda's going to swing, and there it is. Molly canceled out immediately. Crims with the MP9, and Golden chiming in. They are holding the line, Fnatic. Not going to go down without a fight. Issa finally going to pick up one of those players, but that is going to be it. Well, not quite. Montu finds Flusha as well. Two on two, 18 seconds left. Bomb in the open. They still have a smoke to play with, though. Issa could try and get that in position on the bomb site. Yep. That should allow him to get out here. No, Broland denies him. And now with eight seconds left, you need to get this bomb down. Not going to be possible. Five seconds. You need to get the kills. They need to be the fastest ones ever, and it's just not going to happen. Fnatic showing some life here at the very end, holding the line on the B site. Solid crossfire coming out from Fnatic to hold down that B, B site. And finally, finally, something coming through for Fnatic. A clean round in the end, at least. I got worried there when I saw Mantu tapping away at that Heaven player. Things can get pretty pretty dicey, but Fnatic get away with two saved guns. Two saved guns and, and actually actually a pretty decent buy, all things considered. This time they're putting four players down on B early, Fnatic. <laughs> they're not messing around. They're fully trusting JW to hold the line over there towards A. And he is going to be posted up in restroom. Velda, however... Just barely missing out on friends. That was such a close run thing. Grims could still catch Velda. And Relentless, but there is going to be the full clear of uh, Sewers at least. And so some information gained for Fnatic, but that doesn't change the fact that OG got the opening kill. Yeah, and you could see Fnatic brought Brolan over from A to try to gain some water control. But man, he just gets taken out. And JW jumping Mac 10 by NBK. Flusha all alone in this A bomb site. You can see his teammates are rotating on the mini map, but oh gee, they're actually being pretty patient here. They're gonna misdirect a little bit and go back towards B. And what a call coming out from Alexa B once again. Just this mid rounding coming out from this IGL of OG. It's a free bomb site. Oh, actually, the rotation came in really fast. Yeah, Golden is also there, but uh, they are going to get traded. Matu drops, and there's Isa. Man advantage now. It's all on Flusha for Fnatic, and he's been smoked off. 30 seconds. He gets a kill on NBK through the smoke. Of course, it's Flusha getting that kill through the smoke, but he does get punished by Issa in the end, and oh, gee, they close it out. What a fantastic map. OG absolutely dominating Fnatic on the second map and really setting themselves up for success. They have managed to battle their way through in OG fashion. In OG fashion, they have managed to battle their way through the lower bracket, through the groups, through the playoff bracket, and now they've got a spot in the grand final. 
itself. Water, I mean, what do you, quick thoughts here before we end it. Oh man, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how newbie they made Fnatic look. I think OG, they were absolutely looking like they were smurfing in here. Alexi B, he read this game like a book. There wasn't a moment where OG looked uncomfortable ever. Uh, Fnatic were just uncomfortable throughout this entire series across both maps. Yeah, Fnatic, man, it's just, I think what happened is what they had inflicted on MIBR the other day. Close, put your heart and soul into the first map, everything in it, and if you lose it at the very end, it's so hard to get your head back into the game on the second map to try and figure it out, and I don't think Fnatic uh, actually managed to recover, so unfortunate turn of, of events there for Fnatic. They were looking so good, especially JW, 36 kills on the first map, <laughs> which is monster, insane performance, just wasn't enough to get his team across the finish line today. Yeah, it definitely wasn't, and unfortunate as well to see Fnatic going out in that fashion, but once again, OG making it to the Grand Finals, the second Grand Finals of this squad, and I mean, it's now finally coming through, Semler. One year after this OG squad was formed, they're making it to Grand Finals consistently now. It's about time, yeah. I think, OG finally lift that trophy. Yeah, it is, it is, it is an achievement. But what well, is also an achievement, uh, Potter, is that uh, we've made it the distance, man. That's it. Flashpoint 2 in the books for you and me. We've done it.